All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Elko 80 foot patrol torpedo boat mod, which is being made by user Skunkworks Command. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is all the parts necessary to build your very own World War II. Elko Patrol Boat, which I know seems a bit odd, but when I downloaded this to test it out, it was just such a fun little boat to play around with, I had to show it off, as it's got some really great speed and maneuverability, making it perfect for navigating the rivers of this fine world we find ourselves in. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get here. Now let's grab ourselves a Mark II lander can for size comparison's sake here, and then turn on our mod filters, just leaving on PT boat and have a look at the first part that we do have here of uh, only four there's not many things to go over but we have of course the Elko PT boat bridge kind of an odd looking part overall as it is meant to just be like the first part for this boat but it is a functional command pod with a minimum of one crew member to operate with a max capacity of five does have kind of a cheaty generator producing a hundred electric charge per second for nothing but also has SAS and a battery holding 5,000 electric charge and if we could just pop this on into here you can see it is yeah like I said kind of an odd looking part as it is once more intended to be the first part for this boat and really not used with anything else as you got all the weird little bits and bobs of the various metal details basically for the rest of the boat just sort of strewn about and I do kind of wish it didn't have the generator as it is kind of cheaty. I would have liked to throw some RTGs on it or something myself, but oh well, it's still just a fun boat to mess around with. Now the next part we do have, if we check that off, is down here in engines where we have the PT Boat Screw, a basic engine with uh, producing 80 kilonewtons of thrust with an engine ISP of 55, and of course using electric charge at a rate of 0.148 per second for it to provide its power. And uh, yeah, if we pop this thing on, it is just simply a small screw there. If I can rotate it in a way that is more visible, there we go, it works on the side nicely. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice little propeller for you to uh, throw on to the back of the boat. And with two of these, it really gets this boat moving, which is always nice. Now, after that, the next category we need to head down to is aerodynamics, where we do have the PT Boat Rudder. A simple control surface with a relative wing area of 1.18. It is, well, just the rudder for controlling this boat works well and if we pop this thing on here once again just sort of a, a basic little rudder there with a nice sort of metallic -y texture to it uh, very nice and then finally the last part that we do have is down in utility where we have the main body of the boat itself the PY boat main hull, which has another built-in generator producing 100 electric charge per second for nothing, and this time though has a reaction wheel and another one of those batteries holding 5,000 electric charge, but also does have its own crew capacity of three Kerbals, though is not the control unit, so basically just a, another little additional seating area. And if we pop this thing on, you can see here it is... Uh, gorgeous though doesn't really want it there we go it fits on nicely on uh, that locale as you can see it's missing all of the metal details uh, that you saw from the uh, command section but overall it is a pretty beautiful looking little boat I do like and we got all these little sailor kerbals on it pretty fun there I wish they moved or something but no they are just static elements but uh, pretty nice looking nonetheless and all in all again still cheaty with that magical generator but for me, this boat's all about the fun of uh, sailing this thing down one of the navigable rivers of this world. And at that, 
it works pretty darn well. So let's actually jump out into the world where I do have one of these over by the nearby rocket islands to show off. Can we actually, oh hey, we are just within range. Perfect, didn't have to go to the tracking station. And go to my Elko 80 foot patrol boat that we do have out here. And look at it, all majestic and such in the water there. It is just a cool looking boat. And how could you not love this thing? It is maybe a little bit out of place in the world considering it's, you know, a space program game. But it's just a fun little boat to play around with. And if you do use BD Armory, you know what? You can arm this thing up quite nicely and uh, go and destroy some things. It'd be cool if the torpedo tubes worked, but sadly, they do not. But if we throttle this baby up, as you can see, our lovely little propeller is beginning to rotate down there, which I should mention is uh, helped along by the fire spitter plug-in that you will want to have along with this. Now, the mod also does recommend things like the physics extender, the, uh, the uh, hangar extender, and also, of course, BD Armory, but those aren't necessarily required, especially ones like the Hangar Extender. This is a small bow. You're not exactly going to need to, uh, you know, make a huge creation with this thing. So it works quite nicely in just the normal hangar. But nonetheless, it's a cool, fun little boat to play around in. As you can see, we are really hauling it at currently 46. That seems to be where we hover around 46 meters per second and this thing is agile you can just go wherever you want with this thing and it will make it up there I've taken it or down a couple of the rivers on the world and it does it great I've had issues going down those in the past with uh, slower boats but this one does it just fine at speed which is just amazing so yeah, that's really all there is to talk about this mod, though. It's a fun, fast, maneuverable little boat that is well, maybe a little bit cheaty, but all in all, I think well worth a check out. So if you would like to have a look at this for yourself, uh, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But uh, that is going to be it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, you have a good one.